drones are being used to inform where things happen on the battle space. But I cannot do that if I'm not allowed to fly because the EM spectrum is being contested in a way that is inhibiting me from flying. The battlefield is constantly changing as far as the, the electronic warfare side of the house. We can no longer operate in, on a single frequency or even a single band. What we're seeing right now in the contested environments all over the world is that you really need to have an agile platform, a platform that's able to adapt to the current threats that we're seeing and build on its capability over time. And that's really what we've built into X10D. The EM spectrum, where all the frequencies live, is super congested. And there's frequency managers that basically say you can operate in these spaces. And that's different from country to country or environment to environment. And so we have a robust communication system on the aircraft in our multi-band frequency range, which not only enables us to operate in the states, but enables us to operate in environments that are experiencing conflicts now. The Skydio Connect MH radio is a, a multi-band radio that can operate on, on six different uh, frequencies between 1.6 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz. It allows for a tremendous amount of flexibility depending on the sort of operating environment and the, the terrain that a user is operating in to find a, a spectrum that is available and provide a significant amount of deconfliction with, with other assets that may be operating in the area. Dynamic channel switching is an RF denial feature set that we've built out to help mitigate some of the effects of the contested RF environment that we're seeing in near-peer environments currently. Once jamming is encountered by the drone, it's able to autonomously, with no user action, switch to the next preset and potentially mitigate that RF jamming environment. Now, if I'm able to stay in the air longer as a drone and identify what the enemy's doing or an opportunity to exploit, then I'm going to win the fight. In addition to just really working with the radio inside of the drone, we've had lots of requests for an external radio kit. So if you're operating inside of a compound, you have compound walls that are affecting the signal, now you can put the external radio kit on top of the roof or on a mast and extend the range of your system. We're operating this off of ethernet. Where your signal emits from is actually pretty dangerous because there's tools to find where that signal emits from but with the external radio kit, now we're able to extend through this ethernet cable, and that's offsetting where our signal's emanating from, preserving the lives of our soldiers um, so that they can operate a little bit more safely. In Ukraine and other near peer environments, they're seeing thousands of aircraft being lost a month. So this is one of the mitigating factors that we're using to make sure that Skydio drones can always reach their target. 